yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you go, oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys the sims here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you a to z baby a to z a to z a to z yeah and we are back and we're here with part two of the mansion which is going to be the final part so shout outs to me can we get some snaps <laughs> In the chat for me doing a mansion in two ports, like, come on, who are we? Uh, anyway, today I bring to you uh, part two of the mansion, which is the upstairs for the teenagers and the children. Oh, wait, let's say that again. Children. Yes. Oh, I feel like Maya Angelou. Children. Yes. Okay. Um, so we're finishing up the uh upstairs and we're just gonna move them straight into this house so we can get back to the series there's been a lot of people asking me where's a to z where's a to z it's not gone anywhere i just wanted to finish the mansion because i can't I, I literally cannot take them in that small house anymore it is too much it's too crazy so we're just gonna buy it and then we're gonna put our money down to five thousand dollars and we're just gonna have to work our way back at it again so in this video you are going to see the favorites room which we're making right now so whoever is our favorite child at the moment right now is d squat um baby d um this will be their room so um the favorite will have their own room and their own um i think i deleted the laptop but i think i'm gonna put it back they'll have their own laptop and they'll have their own bathroom so yes they will be all gucci and then we have the room we start on after this is the teen rooms. I actually bro uh, broke it up into like cubicles. So they have like more of their own space. And it's like a white, yellow, and gray theme in there. And then for the children room, we have four beds in there. And it's like this cute little lime green color scheme. So um, definitely kept the colors. Um, and then, you know, we've seen the nursery and the toddler's room downstairs because I really don't like toddlers running up and down the stairs. There's no ba uh, bathtubs upstairs. So everything for toddlers, babies, pets, whoever, are all on the first level. So the two things I still need to do, which I'm going to do off camera, is Jasmine's office outside and the nanny quarters in the basement. Um, but those are really simple, and we're probably going to be using the same furniture that we have from the current house in that space. And I think... Jasmine's office will be like a work in progress throughout the series. We'll always be like updating it and all those kind of things. Um, also, in the last like LP LP episode of A to Z Baby, we decided that all of the teenagers are actually gonna paint um, because that's another way that we can get some money. So yes, we definitely. I, I put some easels in. Oh, up here is also the skills room. So we have um, places to do homework. So I have like some um, empty desk and then we have some computers, um, bookcases. Um, I think we have like a connect four game that works like chess. If we need to get those skills up, we have easels and um, we have like the little activity tables for the children. So I think we're just gonna lead towards all our kids just doing art because at the end of the day we can sell it and all those kind of things. Um, we really, really, really gotta work on getting money in this LP. Books is just, we need to get some aspiration points because if we start getting the masterpiece, asp the masterpiece reward and then if we also get like the money tree and stuff, we'll be sad, honey. But you know, we also get that child support. <laughs> on the Sundays. So yes, just uh, keep everything in mind. I know there's a ton of stuff that we still need to do for these series, but we're only on baby eye. So we still got a lot more churn to go, but now we're gonna have a house that's gonna be able to take on all of those children. Cause I promise you, if you're playing 100 baby challenge or 50 baby challenge or any kind of baby challenge, even the seven toddler challenge, your house just, makes the game like if your house out of order you're gonna be stressed and we've <laughs> we've seen me stressed okay <gasps> yes so that's everything you need to know about the house right now we're doing the favorites bathroom which is a really cute i really like the color schemes we went with all the rooms they're different um this the house still needs or well, the upstairs still needs like um more like clutter 
well not clutter, what's the word I'm looking for? It still needs more like um, recreational stuff in the hallways, like there's a ton of space in the hallways to put like couches and TVs and things, so they're not always downstairs in the living room. So I think, uh, I know we definitely need to do that. Those are just small things I'm gonna do off camera. I didn't want this video to be super long. I'm getting back into my daily uploading. Um, if you don't know, I did take some time off last week because I had a death in my family. So I've just been trying to ease back into things. Um, I definitely just put everything on pause because I wanted to take some time to group with my family. So everyone who sent all your prayers and kind words, again, I truly appreciate it. And for the people who didn't know, who was messaging me, DMing me, where's the videos? They back, okay, dang. Who alert. Anyway, um, this past week was very, very stressful, but I was very proud of myself because I actually did get content out that I really enjoyed, that I even sat back and watched and like was really happy with it, so that was nice. So, yes, um, videos are back, um, LPs are back, and this week will be daily uploading, so if you're watching this when it's come out, shout out to you because you get to see all the videos. So I'm trying to start this new thing where I try to have all my videos up between the hour of 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that can be 6.02 to 6.59. I'm trying to start this thing like DS6. Like, I think that's like the time that I normally upload. I feel like that's the time that you guys are normally like looking on the channel or things like that. I was gonna do D at three, but cause that's cute, D at three. But listen. That's early. So if you don't know, I do a lot of my um, recording and stuff the same day. So I wake up, get myself together, record, edit, render, upload, and then you guys get it. So um, that's a schedule I've been on and it really works for me. Um, so that's when my videos normally come out between 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 7 p.m. That's what I'm trying to start doing. So if you're ever looking for videos on the channel and I've announced that I'm going to do daily uploading for the week, which I pretty much normally do. I might miss like Wednesdays. Y'all, I don't know what it is about Wednesdays, but on Wednesdays, I never want to record. Unless I have something huge planned, I never want to record on Wednesdays. I always look over and I'm like, man, it must be Wednesday. Because I'm just, i just not feeling it. Or it's not like I don't enjoy what I'm doing. It's just a process. Like if you're a content creator, you know the process to record is just wild. Unless you have LPs where you could just go and play. A lot of my LPs are story-based or storylined. They need prep. They need like lots or someone needs to be made over it's not just the lp where just go the only lp that's kind of like that is a to z baby but we needed this house which is why it's been on a pause until this house was done um that's probably that's probably the only lp on my channel where i can just play um like i literally have nothing in mind i could just press record but like as told by naya and london all of those are all plotted like i decide what i'm gonna do i put lots down i have you guys put um, hashtags and sims and all those kind of things so it's a different strategy for different videos I know a lot of people ask me like how do you start where do you start how do you plan and honestly it's a lot it depends on what you're doing though it really depends on like how you plan on doing your channel because if you're just doing an LP um, where you're just um, you know just playing the game then you can you know record whenever but if you're doing things that I do like single father as told by Naya and London and lyric which are all like plotted I have storylines for them we have certain things we do on certain episodes then it's I think it's completely different that's just my opinion but when you just playing something like a hundred baby challenge or I wouldn't even say like the widow challenge because you still have to do stuff for that if you're doing like 100 baby uh, or something like that then that's easy to just go in and get that content honey so yeah you just gotta be mindful of things and stuff like that but like I said I'm gonna start uploading at 6 so make sure it's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so whichever that is for your time zone you can always check on Google honey um, that's when you can pretty much see a video from me I'm gonna try to either get it between that time like it's a it's a starting period so give me a grace period oh, okay um, but I really think like evening videos are a lot better for me and I think for you guys too. But let me know down below what you prefer. Do you prefer like videos as soon as you get out of school? Do you prefer videos at noon? Like you just trying to 
watch them during lunch or your lunch break because I know we have a lot of D squad members who are in school and university and we, we got we got quite a few who who got them jobs honey them 401k <laughs> I feel you um so let me know in the comments down below like where what's your prime what's your favorite hour to watch you a good old D squad video when's the best hour for your vitamin D honey let me know cuz you got to get your vitamin D every day and you know sis is trying and now that I'm back you know it's gonna be amazing so um just get ready for videos all through this week and next week they're gonna be so good and it's, it's gonna be good honey it's gonna be good so right now we're doing the kids room I wanted to make sure I had a lot of kids beds so I have four I feel like that's a lot we got four toddler beds four kids beds a favorites room th uh, three teenager rooms and uh, two cribs which can hold at least four babies at one time we should never run out of space I don't feel like we should be having like five children at once the only thing I'll be a little nervous about honestly is toddlers I think Maybe we'll run into an issue with toddlers before toddler bed should be good. But if we ever need to roll out a good sleeping bag, honey, <laughs> you know that I got that for you. But yeah, this why it feels so good to be back. I feel a little whole again. A piece of me, of course, is always going to be missing. But I feel better than what I did at the beginning of the week. Um, the service was so nice. It was so beautiful. And it just kind of eased my heart so good like I feel so much better um, I'm gonna miss my aunt so much but I know she will want us to get back to work and get things going and just prosper bigger better than ever so that's what I'm gonna do um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna put a little bit of musical on put some music on oh yeah wait before I go we do have a pool outside, and I have not uh, just realized I have not decorated the little deck area. So when you guys see the next episode of A to Z, I'll do a full house tour so you guys can see all of the stuff that we have. Because we should pretty much have everything here. We should, we should have space if we wanted to garden, which I don't really want to do unless we're doing um, like a money fruit or something. Which we, you know what? That sounds really good. Maybe we should do a money fruit. Maybe we should get like a little, like a small greenhouse and do like a money fruit area. Cause that could be very um, lucrative too. If we did like dragon fruit and blackberries, you know what? I think we may do that. Cause we need as much money as we can. These, these bills, this, this house, I'm pretty sure the bills are going to be like four or five grand every three days so we need to have that money just rolling in honey we need to have it going oh one thing i did with the bathrooms was i tried to put the showers and the toilets in separate rooms so people can so two people can use the bathroom at one time and that was big because um in the other house we only have like two functioning bathrooms and it's literally hell and there's always someone who wants to take a shower and who wants to you know take a dump so I made sure we had plenty of bathrooms, even though we still only have one on the main floor. I feel like that's gonna be better because down there it should just be Jasmine and the babies, like in the toddlers. Um, and I think I also forgot to put in toddler toilets, but we're definitely gonna have those. So just remember, if I, if I forgot anything, make sure you let me know. I might have forgotten one of those money trash cans, but I'm not sure. Um, but if you feel like I've forgotten anything, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what? The comments down below. Again, I'm going to do her office, the patio, and the nanny's uh, living quarters off camera. But if anything else I forgot, please let me know. Oh, you guys suggested that we have like the lamps and the, the focus lamps to help kids with homework and stuff. I wish there was a way we could designate where they do their homework. But I'm just going to try to stay on top of it. But we also got the Explore Mall. And my babies be going to the, they go to the library after school. Because I be needing them out the house. Okay. So hopefully this house, you know, eases our mind. You know, and there's not a whole bunch of stress. Because I just feel like the old house is so small. I'm always stressed out. There's always puddles. I want to get a Roomba. Probably like five Roombas. So they can do puddles. 
and paint and all that kind of stuff we got to get them upgraded we just need some money so that's going to be our next hustle is some money i think we should be having the new babies in the next part i have all the baby names for i think it's baby i and baby j or is it h no because we have henrietta so it's baby i and baby j we have twins they're coming and i'm excited and i'm ready for these churns to make me some money because i'm all for children working huh okay thank y'all so much for tuning into the video there's gonna be some screenshots right at the end oh wow i really talked through the whole thing i'm so proud of it look at this d squad oh also just so you guys know i don't know if i mentioned i think i mentioned it in my community tab but i i have been forgetting to mention it but i have released fall merch it is my pumpkin thick line it is a juicy plump pumpkin and thick and it comes in four fall colors and they're gonna be up right now so i'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out all the proceeds go to supporting the channel and things like that but they're really cute it's cute little sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts so you could be nice and warm for the for the fall and the winter honey and it's super cute and i like it i think i'm a i got me a burgundy one honey and i got me some pop fit leggings oh we about to be in there in there but these squad thank y'all so much for putting up with me today i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comments down below i will see you guys in the next one remember to stay beautiful stay lovely and have a grand great day bye guys